Hey guys, Joel Gomez here, series artist of La Muerta, published by Coffin Comics. I just wanted to share with you today in celebration of the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance coming to Netflix August 30th, uh, a Skeksy sketch, a mixed media style using my Sakura products. I like to build the piece up in stages, starting with a loose drawing, kind of a gesture sketch, just to get the kind of loose placement of stuff, just to give a sense of uh, what you're shooting for. Once I've laid in a gesture sketch that I'm comfortable with, or like the shapes of, I'll kind of move in with large washes of watercolor. Just playing around and exploring shapes uh, with different colors. No real kind of approach to it, just uh, anything that catches my eye or uh, just uh, allowing for uh, happy accidents to happen in pools of color and water that kind of blend right onto the paper itself. I remember watching the movie as a kid and being mesmerized by the world and characters of the Dark Crystal. A couple of years later, I would see the amazing concept art of Brian Stroud that was created for the characters and was blown away with a concept that you could make a living designing and drawing these fantastical creatures and places. Now I'm putting the last of these watercolor washes before I move into the next step of the process. I'll use my Pigma Micron pins to start firming up the edges and contours. Just kind of exploring shapes with the lines, picking and choosing my favorites. Uh, I wanted to find the hard edges and create a nice texture on some of the surfaces as well. Here we're just picking out some shapes right around the eye and the brow area. Uh, we're using the Pigma Microns. I've been using Pigma Microns for most of my professional career as a comic book artist. Uh, very consistent pen, uh, love the line quality, and very durable. Again, just defining these hard shapes uh, with the Pigma Micron, mostly the contour and uh, creating texture on the skin. Now, I'll add another layer to the drawing using my Pen Touch Paint Markers. The opaque quality of these pens adds another layer to the drawing uh, with the really vibrant colors. I'm going with a copper here to add to the filigree of this costume. Plus, it's got a nice shiny quality to the pigment. It's kind of neat adds to the layer effect of the drawing. An extra wash of shadow here just to create the contrast in the character that's needed. And finally, I'll finish the sketch off using the fine line of my Jelly Roll gel pens. Kind of picking out highlights on the Skeksis brow and forehead area. Another quick little wash. And we come to my favorite part, the peeling of the tape. It's always nice seeing the crisp, clean edges created by the tape being peeled off. It's just a nice little finishing touch. Thanks so much for joining me on this sketch. I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, checking out the process and how I go about using my pens. Thanks again. Uh, stay tuned for more videos soon. Take care.